My name is Tom. Three years ago, I embarked on a new venture. I planted hundreds of trees to build my own citrus grove beside the marshes of the Little Geechee River. Now I spend my days growing delicious Savannah citrus. Hi folks, welcome to Savannah Citrus. Today I want to talk to you about enhancing soil. You've heard me speak before how we do not plant our citrus trees in dirt. We plant them in a soil made of variety of elements that breathe and drain quickly and provide excellent nutrition. Today, I'm visiting Savannah Hydroponics and Organics. We're gonna meet Andrew and we're gonna see what he has to offer. Hey Heather, good morning, how you doing? I'm great, thanks, how are you? Fabulous, always busy. Let's put Andrew yeah, around. Yeah, sure, he's right over there. He's right over here. Hey, <laughs> hey Tom, good to see you. Hey man, great seeing you, great seeing Welcome. you. I've got some issues, you know, I've got this citrus going on uh, in my greenhouse, and trying to get them eased into organic production. And I was wondering if you could help me with that today but I also have some pest issues. Um, spider mites and leaf miners. Leaf miners. We've got some have? solutions. We've got several options. Come on over here, let me show you. I know you had mentioned using neem oil previously. That is a good first line of defense, but we need to get a little more aggressive, it sounds like. Yeah. Here's something with pyrethrin, which is going to be, uh, you know, a little more aggressive and the, the key is is that taking care of the pests without stressing the plant out right uh, this is going to be a good option we do have this other option here which is a mix of pyrethrin and the active ingredient from neem seed so even more aggressive but if we want to take a smaller step we could go with this one here and get these pests under control let me start with this and this this will help me with my spider mites say eh? it will all right, so let's go look at some soil amendments over here. You know, I looked online at a couple of different products, but uh, help steer me in the right direction here. I, I've suddenly taken a big shine to this happy frog, just because I've fallen in love with the with the whole label. I thought. Uh, well, he's a happy frog. He's Who a happy frog. Love a happy frog. And um, for citrus and avocado, and tell me about these active soil microbes. Well, luckily you're growing citrus, so this would be a perfect match for your crop. Um, this does have a lot of great organic ingredients in there. You can see um, feather meal, alfalfa meal, fish bone meal, sulfate of potash, fish meal. Fish meal. Yeah, all kinds of good stuff. Kelp meal. So lots of good ingredients. It's also inoculated with all the different species of mycorrhizae. It's going to really help the roots thrive um, on your citrus trees. So. A lot of these ingredients are used in a bunch of different products. It's just slightly different ratios. And um, again, this one has a 733 NPK number. Um, but yeah, I think this Let's would be a great choice. These. And you'd mentioned something about humic, humic acid? Yes. So What's humic that? acid, humic acid, it's a very mild acid that helps break down nutrients or chelate and make them available to the plant. So. This is a very concentrated humic acid. It goes a long way. You use only about an eighth teaspoon per gallon. So wow. this, this goes a long way. And as you expand your orchard, I think this will be a great product. So what it does is it makes any nutrient in that soil more available and helps break it down to, for the plant roots. So I recommend this as well. All right. That is a soluble version, so you can water that in at any point in time. We also have granular, but we'll stick with that. We'll stick with this water. So I use good. Water. Perfect. All right. We're going to get checked out with these and see what happens. All right, Andrew. Hey, thanks very much for spending the time. I really appreciate it. You know, I, I tell all of my friends, it's really important to establish a good working relationship with the local provider. We appreciate you, Tom. Thank you for shopping with us. And uh, we know we'll see you soon. And we'll see you. How do we get hold of you? 
So savannahydro.com. We're located right next to the Savannah State Farmers Market on Highway 80. Come see us. Heather and I would love to take good care of you and uh, help you in the garden. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, keep it fresh and keep it local.